Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last lecture, I have shown you how to design this login page and how to design dashboard. Okay, so my user ID is student and password is also student. And when I click on this login, here you can see this, this is now dashboard. So in last lecture, I have shown you step by step how to design these all controls and how to add images into this. And if you need the images, just comment or I will post the link of these images into the description. Okay, so not to worry about that. So today I'm going to show you how to design for this new admission. Let me show what is actually in this new admission. So let me just close this and let me move to the completed project. So this one is actually completed project. Let me just log in. And when I click on this new admission, this window come, come in on the screen. Okay, so I will show you how to design this in this lecture. So let's start with that. Let's close this. Let me move to this. If you have not watched my previous video, then I will suggest you to first watch that previous video and after that, start watching this one. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get updates of my upcoming videos. Okay. So now before starting, first thing what we need is we need one form. So to add form, just go to Solution Explorer and here you can click right click on this and click on this add. And we what we need is Windows form. Just click on that. And let me just name this Windows form new admission okay hit enter now here you can see this new admission form is added now in this what we need is I want that the size of this needs to be same in this one so let me just copy the size of this form so new admission is here and just close this okay so in properties you can find the size let me just copy this and let me just move to this one okay so here you can see this uh, the, this is a form right click on this and go to properties in properties you can set the size search for size here you can see this is 300 300 I'm just pasting this and hit enter it's of the same size of the previous one okay in this what we have uh, is let me just show you this one here you can see this uh, count the number of uh, Labels we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and here one more 12. So I need 12 labels. So let me just copy labels. Just go to toolbar and search for labels. Just drag and drop it. Just copy and paste to replicate. So we have now 12. Okay. Before changing the name, what I want, what I need is, when I click on this new admission, this form needs to be open. So how to do that? For that, you have to just double click on this new admission to generate a click event for this. Okay, so just, just double click on this new click event for new admission is generated. And here, we need to create an object of this form. So how to create the object of this form? That is new admission and a equals new admission and now this is object of that uh, form so na dot show now start this let me just show you okay now when I click on this now here you can see this this pop-up is coming but it's not in the center so how to uh, bring this into the center so for that just go to this and right click on go to properties and here you can find the start position windows start position here you can see this so sorry windows state it's windows state. so windows start position here you have to just click and center the screen just save it okay and one more thing let me just remove this validation so that i can easily move to the next page I don't need to enter user ID and password each time. Okay, so let me just start this. We are having some issue. Sorry, 
I have just commented why this is showing error. New admission and distributor visibility was true. So let me just comment this one. And now start this. Okay, now when I click on this, it directly move to this. Okay, and now when I click on this, here you can see this, it's in the center. We close this and again click this. It will always start in the center. So now let's start designing this one. So first thing, in this one, you can see here you have, we have an image. This is actually the picture box. So let me just uh, see the size that is 550 and 85. Let me just copy this size of this. After that, I need this toolbox. In this toolbox, I need one picture box. So let me just drag and drop it here and set the size. Just go to properties and search for size. Here you can see this, I found the size and in this hit, you can write manually, write 550, 85, just hit enter and here we have. In this, I have added the, let me add the image. So just click on this and choose image, local resources, import and go where you have stored your images. So I have stored the images into icons and college management system. And this this admission is the image okay so when i click on this and hit okay so you can see this it's not uh, on the correct size so they just change the size mode to stretch image and now we can see this we have this okay so but here you can see the difference that this image is completely white and the uh, form background is off white so change the form background to white just go and search for background color back color here you can see this and this click on this white now here you can see this now it's matching the background so it's looking nice after that start with the first one first label is registration id okay so just go to properties of this level one and go to text here you can see this text is level one so change this to registration number okay and after that I need few labels so let me just change this to this two to full name hit enter after that just change this name to mother's name after that we have to change the fourth level to just go to properties and here you can see this this you have to set gender and after that change this one to date of birth Okay, and after that, okay, so no need to double click on this. Go to properties and just change this name to mobile number. After that, we have to set semester, so just change it to semester. And after that, change this one to semester two. After that, we have the programming. If you don't know, if you're not understanding this stuff, then don't worry, I'm going to teach you step by step. You will definitely make this by your own. Okay. So not to worry about that just 
focus stay focused and keep watching this video to the till the end okay so after programming we have school name and after school name we have duration and after duration we have address and we missed one thing uh, here email address so just change this to email address okay so email id that will be fine just drag this here and put it into the right position okay so here we have to actually increase change the font of this so that it will look great so how to change the font so just click on this just go to properties and in properties select for font search for font okay and in this font you have to just click on this three dot and select the font i have selected calibri okay and okay sorry just click on this calibri bold and sizes for it so you can see this now it's looking nice so in the same way you have to do for the rest or you can just do like this just select once one by one by pressing the control key and just click this font and after that just select the calibri where we have bold and 14 and click this ok button okay the size of this page is increased why this happened okay so just control C L Z and I have selected something else okay actually this uh, uh, form was also selected that's why uh, this happened because the size of the form is also increased okay so just click on this and again and after that click on the this font and calibri bold and put in it okay here you can see this now it's nice you have to just move this to the proper location okay okay we will adjust this in proper order later now we need few stuff more few few more stuff let me just show you okay so what we need is we need text boxes radio buttons let me just show you here you can see this we have uh, text boxes radio buttons date time picker combo boxes so we need all these stuff so first thing we need text box let me just copy the text box just drag and drop it so for this full name we need text box for mother name we need text box for mobile number we need text box for email address we need text box for school name we need text box and uh, and that's it after the uh, for duration we need actually combo box okay so first let me just add radio buttons because we need two radio buttons for gender one for male and one for female so just drag and drop this and for date of birth we need date time picker okay so just drag and drop this here and here you can see this the size of it's actually taking the day uh, in this format so just go to prefer is and search for format here you can see this is it's set to long just click on the short here you can see this now we have it it's in the proper format okay so and for semester we need combo boxes so just search for combo box just drag and drop it here and how many combo boxes we need is actually three duration and for address we need rich text box rich text box in rich text box text box you can add multiple lines at a time so uh, let me just add this one here okay let me just move this to the upside after that move all this stuff to upside okay. so that we can add two buttons here so we need button just drag and drop it and copy and paste to replicate change the name of this button one two 
okay just submit and the second button to reset so that when click on this all the data enters it should be cleared okay so just drag and drop this in this way and just set this post radio button to mail and the second radio button to female okay and just change the size of this okay here you can see this now arrange this into the proper order okay and just increase the size of these all text boxes in the same way let me just show you just select each of this stuff and after that just go to font in this font you have to select regular and size needs to be 11 okay so now you can see this the size of these stuffs are now larger and just make it large so that it look nice and make this one small compared to the remaining and in this way you have to design this okay so let me just show you a few more steps and just move this one to the little side left and like this you have to drag this okay here we go now we have to add few stuff into this combo boxes okay so in combo box you can add like this just click on this small edit items and here you can add the items so let me just copy these items from here just click on this edit item just copy cancel and you have to actually write this just write this all and when you click on OK, it will be added for programming in the same way you have to do edit items and whatever programming language you want to add, just add edit items, just copy and paste it here, hit OK. For the duration, you also have to add edit items, just, let me just copy this stuff and just copy and paste it here, you can add manually. Okay, now we have added this data to the combo box, but here you can see one difference is that here this select is already prefixed. So how to add that? Just to add this, just click on these three select three combo boxes and search for text. In this text, you have to just add and hit enter. Here you can see this now select is added to this. Okay. And here we need one more label. I will show that later. We don't need to change anything in that label. Okay, so just add one label. This is for uh, setting this uh, registration ID, which is all auto generated. Okay, I will show you how this is working. Okay, so let me just start the project. I will show you how this is working. When I click on login, new admission, and in this new admission, here you can see this. Now we have this form here you can see this now it's working very fine everything is working and when you click on this you can select this like programming semester you can add text and everything is working fine okay so it's looking nice now. okay so one thing more we have to do is we have to actually change the design name of these uh, text boxes and we have to code the back end okay so in the next lecture i will show you how to do everything the backend coding of this how this submit will be working how this reset button will work so that's it for the today's video thanks for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned for the next video thanks